Hello everyone, uh, I'm back to play more Elden Ring, uh, this time the Godskin Noble is going down, I don't care how many times it takes, we're going to get through this dungeon, we're definitely going to make it to Rykard, wherever he is, we'll find him, but first we have to get through the Noble first, uh, first we have to get through the Noble first, what am I saying? Okay. I'm gonna buff. Remember to do it before going through the fog this time. Summon our depraved perfumer. Need to figure out where the hell our runes are. No, you don't. I need to get my runes back. I don't remember how many I have, but I want them. Oh, wait. Didn't have any. Okay, never mind. That was gonna be a bad idea. Let's get out of here. Woo! That almost clipped me there. Okay, yeah, I forgot that the the, the pommel strike would kill me. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? I'm slightly annoyed by the fact that this guy does not seem to stagger for anything. I'm, I'm slightly curious if he might be parryable. Uh, another idea I have is, since I'm going to have the FP available due to my physic buff making my summon free, I could try Barricade Shield. Try Barricade Shield for the physical attacks. Oh, that didn't kill me. Slightly surprised. So let's try Barricade Shield, actually. Okay. It doesn't do much of anything in the way of actually, like, staggering. But what I did notice there is it reduced the stamina consumption of blocking, at least. Which is good in itself. So I'll keep it up. Oh, I thought to have remembered that that was a longer combo. Okay, okay. Tag me there. Oop. No, you don't. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, oh. No fireballs. Not getting fireballed. Not happening. And of course, he enters phase two after I die. Okay, just gotta get back into the swing of things. Been a, been a couple days, so... That's my excuse for doing poorly. I could switch over to the heater shield and see if I can parry him. <laughs> I don't know, those attacks... A lot of those don't look like... Don't really look particularly parryable, but it can be hard to tell sometimes. Might give it a try. If I don't... If I had... To clear sky ahead... I have a lot of... I have a ton of trouble. I could give it a shot. Alright. Depraved Perfumer, go! Wow, I actually like... Completely unintentionally duck under a few attacks. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
wonder if I might not be able to get some nice damage with my spells. Ooh, almost had me there. Oh, I might be dead. Oh, nope. Just in time. Okay, phase two. He's, oh, he's rolling. is the worst. Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah. There's a door there? Hmm. Okay, gotta check that out after this. Right, was, there, was there a spirit we didn't try? Was there a summon we didn't try? I think there might have been, and I want to... Did we ever do... That battle mage didn't work real well. I don't think Lutel was great. I try Vanish Knight Angval. Alternatively, I could go back to the demi humans and just rely on the sheer number of targets. Hey, someone else using a greatsword. It's always nice to see phantoms using similar weapon setups. I think most of the great swords I see are two-handing them. I mean, come on, you don't have the 30-some strength you need? Come on, man. Okay. So let's just not bother with the banished knight. somewhat impressed with myself at how well I can dodge some of these attacks without even actually dodging. Oh, come on. For sure you'd be about staggered. Come on, man. Give me that stance break. And maybe stop with the rings of fire. Shouldn't have jumped into that. Basically, just wasted health there. Ow. Oh. Oh. He has. He has infinite poise. The man. This man cannot be staggered. Okay. Poke me through the pillar. Sure. I have a really bad habit about immediately guard countering every opportunity I see. You know, we'll just we'll just try going back to old reliable and doing the demi humans. I don't remember if we actually how many times we actually tried with the demi humans. It's having five bodies in the room to uh, block him. That will be nice. And actually, I can... Do I have... Any other, like, stone? Any other, like... Any other sorceries I might want to try adding? Blaster's probably not going to be that useful. Maybe glintstone stars, but... Not much else that I really have that I have the stats for. I'm gonna need to do more... I'm gonna need to invest more in intelligence to do much. 
Terry and Greatsword would be will probably be something I can actually make good use of though. in time? Yes, I can. Let's go. I want to... I mainly want to use Rock Sling because it's more projectiles and I think it's also because of my staff. It'll do... My staff boosts it. It also seems to do pretty decent poise damage, too. Just roll into the pillar. Let me cheese it out. Okay. Oh my god, he's never gonna stop rolling. I suppose that's just like a fitting revenge for a FromSoft boss, though, considering we players also never stop rolling. Anything else that might help me? Got a bunch of consumables. I wonder if they can bleed. Alternatively. Do I have any ashes that would be really useful? I need to actually check what my some of my ashes of war even do. Because I don't remember what all of them do off the top of my head. Lion's Claw. Somersault boards. Okay, got that. Ragblade might be good, actually. <laughs> so I could try, like... I could also try, uh... Well, I can't do Bloody Slash, unfortunately. Lifesteal Fist? This is just... Is this just the Dark Hand? Yeah, it is just the Dark Hand, isn't it? Storm wall is just parry, but better. You know, I'll, I'll try. I'll see if I can try Crag Blade. And then we'll make uh, the great sword heavy too, so that'll that should. Or I, uh, what is that? Why does increasing my strength scaling with heavy decreasing my attack power? Or what? What else? Oh, it's removing the deck scaling entirely. Quality decreases it a lot. We'll just keep standard, I guess. And the Beast Crest Shield. We'll just go. Give it affinities. We'll just go no skill. Oh, 
And I can see if Cragblade does anything better for me. Because I do like the idea of uh, easier stance breaking. Plus, you know, it just feels kind of appropriate with how I've been with my, like, with using the uh, meteorite staff. for body blocking for me, guys. Never mention how much I despise the ring of fire there. Because I really don't like it. Okay. I don't feel like I should have survived that, honestly. But I'll I'll take it, I guess. sure why I didn't roll back out of that. I do like, I did notice that Cragblade wasn't boosting my damage a little bit. If I got more hits in, I might have actually seen the stance breaking effect more. That was, that just, that was just bad. I got a little overzealous. I, we try again. I swear I will at least get through the Godskin Noble. I want to get to Rykard. But I'll at least do this. for a charge attack when I really shouldn't have. Man, I wanted that damage. I might give it a couple more tries with the current strategy, and then maybe try parrying a little bit. Only because, hey, it, it worked really well against the Crucible Knight. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe this guy will be variable too. Let's refresh that buff. 
There we go. Yeah, that did... That did stance break a little bit faster. Probably helps that I had several attacks from demi-humans coming in, too. But I wouldn't... I would doubt that that was, like, a main contributor. Oh, that was, like... What? That's the first time I've seen him come out of the roll that quickly, and then literally just immediately transition back into it. Well, that's... That's moderately irritating. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess that's a thing he can do. Any of these messages at all have anything to say? It's useful. Boss ahead. By the way, try blood loss. I was wondering if bleed would help with this. Actually, I do have a bit of blood grease. I don't know if I'm actually like hitting regularly enough. That was like the wimpiest black fireball I've ever seen. Nope, I forgot that I hadn't scrolled back to my flask yet. Oh, the crag blade is going down. Let's just put more rocks on my sword. to deal with than the roll. Oh, that... That series of pokes. Oh, that's painful. Oh, well, that might be dead. No? Okay. He did knock me out of my crack blade, though. I'd have expected that he would, uh, stab me through the pillar. How about... Ah! Mistimed it. Mistimed my dodges. <sighs> that was better than our past several runs have been, though. Give it a shot. Can I... Can I craft blood grease? Yes, I can. I don't have a ton of blood roses, but I also don't have a ton of root resin, so I'll need to get more of that at some point. Oh, why am I getting all these ice spikes? Okay, 
Okay. We're, we got one demi hero left. Somewhat surprisingly. I believe we are out of our blood grease, though. Ah, and I died. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the bleed would probably be better if I wasn't using a slow heavy weapon. Plus, if I really wanted to, I could equip, like, the Bloodhound Knight sword. But I can never remember what it's actually called for some reason. Bloodhound's Fang. I keep wanting to say Bloodhound's Edge for some reason. Yeah, we're not just gonna. We're just not gonna bother with that. If I were using that, which just has normal bleed buildup, or like a smaller, faster weapon, yeah, I'd, I'd totally go for the blood loss strategy. But yeah, right now, I think we're better off with Crag Blade. Do those fireballs just have absurd damage fall off or something? It's a nice little spin attack he did there. Yep, oh, ah yeah, man. That fire was distressingly efficient at killing off my demi humans. Whoa, I actually <laughs> came out on top of that. Dang. That was surprising. Ow. Oh, that didn't do much damage. Okay, Crag Blade is done. Okay, I angled him well. Okay, is it gonna stop rolling at some point? There we go. Why does that launch? excuse for that one. I barely have an excuse for that one either, honestly. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I'm safe between the pillars here, actually. With how he rolls. Oh no, I'm, I'm not safe, but he didn't actually hit me until way late in his attack. Yeah, I'm probably I'm wasting my entire crack blade. Well, I now have no more heals. Surprisingly not dead. Now I'm dead. I think that was the closest we've gotten that time. You know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I don't even know if this guy is parryable at all, but we'll, we'll try it. It's not going to hurt anything for us to try once or twice. And then if it works, we'll just to go the Crucible Knight route of uh, tunnel visioning on trying to get the parryable attacks out and then do nothing else for ages until we realize, oh yeah, I need to actually be hitting during other openings too. You know, it worked so well with Crucible Knight. It only took like a hundred attempts. I don't think we'll be able to parry the fireball. 
Scout will be able to parry that. Might be able to parry that. I can see some of the swipes and stabs being variable, but for now I'm gonna. All the demi humans are still up. Take advantage of their distractions to try and just go about this a bit more conventionally. Like so. Alright, he'll be hitting phase two very soon. Right now. Oh no. Right, here comes the roll. Oh no. Go back to the tried and true. Was the closest we've gotten, actually. <sighs> okay, okay. Maybe. Mm. We'll change things up one more time. Gonna remove Crag Blade. Put barricade shield back on and actually use that. We'll go back to the healing physic. To use that as just an extra heal. Demi human ashes will leave us with uh, enough FP for like a couple barricade shields, which we can use to get guard counters because of the decreased. Uh, the stamina consumption decrease from blocking. And we got one blue flask to... Actually, that just leaves us with the one barricade shield. But... 
that may well be good enough for a little bit. Oh wow, the demi-humans did not last long at all. chance. And I got caught blocking that. Okay. Yeah, barricade shield's not going to be any use. Uh, we're just going to go back to crag blade for our weapon art. Crag Blade actually did have a noticeable impact. I am gonna leave, keep my healing physic though. Because I mainly wanted to use the, the FP thing, the little thing to cheese out higher cost summons. So I think the demi humans are actually probably gonna end up being my best bet. I'll just stick with them. Oh, come on. Why is he so good at poking me for through and around the columns? Mm. It is immensely frustrating. At least he doesn't flip through him when he's doing the stupid roll. There's that, at least. It's small comfort, but it's something. first attack that time. Oh yeah, Crag Blade is not one of the skills that you can use that reduced effect for no FP if you have no FP left. So notice there are some skills that seem to be like that. You can get basically just a weaker version of it if you don't have any FP left. And it seems to be that seems to be limited to like the skills that aren't explicitly some weird magical stuff. 
Okay, we're good. Are you okay? No, no, we're not. We're not good. Nice whiff. Is you. I also hate that sequence of thrusts. Okay, come on. Are you gonna do the roll? i do the roll. Just waste my crag blade, I guess. But just do your roll. Continue spinning to win. the other way. Might have been able to get away from that. kind of glancing through my crafting menu to see if there's anything I might be able to make that'll help me. I'm not really seeing much. Don't believe there were any summon signs I noticed around here. No NPCs to help me out, which is not altogether unexpected. I've barely seen any NPC summon signs. Is a little surprising, but maybe more of them are tied to individual quests or something than there, because there aren't as many. It seems that there aren't as many kind of random summons as the Dark Souls games have. So with those, you had plenty of uh, summons that were just like kind of random one-offs didn't really have any story, much story associated with them, except for the ones where you'd like find their corpse. Uh, some at some later point in the game to get their armor set or whatever. I think this is the most demi humans I've had survived the phase two. Ha! Ah, you want to stab me through the pillars? Well, guess what? Two can play at that game. Oh! Huh. I tried to dodge and failed miserably. Okay, okay, okay. Give me some space. Okay, okay. Estimated the tracking on the fireball throw. That left me on like two HP. Okay, I think we're good here. Good time is as good as time as any to uh, crag blade. Oh, uh, 
how jumping seems to actually be my best way to dodge this, the uh, slam there. Oh, God. The range on that. <laughs> I underestimated it. I wonder if some of those moves are just unique to the god skin noble, or if we can like get a hold of one of those rapiers eventually and do some of that stuff too. That'd be kind of cool. Or uh, what I'd imagine is probably a dex build, but cool anyway. And with the black flame, it would probably s scale with faith too, so like, good for my other character. If I ever get back to playing that one, honestly. So I've been... I haven't played him in a long while there. Yes, okay. That. Heal. FP. Recharge. Get another crag blade going. Heal. I'm dead. Oh, surprisingly not. Was a wasted crack light. Let's refresh that. So I may be able to uh, use the crack blade. You know, I thought maybe staying down I might have a better chance at not getting killed. You know, sometimes it's sometimes these games are counterintuitive like that. I know there's plenty of situations like that in Monster Hunter, for example. Where it's better to stay down and just let the monster attack either through the in through invincibility frames that you get after being knocked down or just to swing over you. Not so with that. I'm just getting pommel smashed in the head. take it. Oh! Oh, he did the thing again where he came out of it and then immediately resumed. Goodbye. The cat has left. She had been here. On my bed. Quite content for a while. I thought she probably left because it's getting close to time for food. That pretty much never fails to get her out. <sighs> Hold on a moment. No, if nothing else, I do like the music for the Godskin Noble. I, I think it's pretty cool.
Oh, I, I will admit, I did just take a brief trip uh, to the uh, Elden Ring wiki just to check something, and it is confirmed that, yes, at least some of the attacks are parryable. Which I might, I might want to try that, give that a more serious try. Oh, fine. I don't really want to try it while my demi-humans are up, though, uh, because targeting is just going to be too unpredictable. Ow. Tracked me. Not too well for that. See if some of your attacks are parryable in phase two, huh? Unfortunately, I get the feeling that the roll is probably not parryable. Fireballs, generally speaking, are not parryable. So that's not parryable, which shouldn't be surprising. Or at least it... Or at least, uh... Not with the, uh, timing I attempted there. Those look like those could be parryable. At least some of those attacks. Ah, oh, It does so much damage. Had him on the ropes there. Relatively speaking, he's just still a good several hits from death, but we were doing better. I think I'm gonna still gonna prioritize Crag Blade. I was just kind of fishing for openings for jumping attacks and occasional swings seems to be working best for me. Just fireball more. Oh, that was like I I took a risk there thinking that like it's like yeah I know jumping is a decent way to avoid that. We got a second point break. Let's go. Like I know jumping's a decent way to avoid that, but is it also viable to uh Use that to get closer to go in for a uh, for a jumping attack. Okay, I'm honestly 
not 100% certain how I managed to free aim that jump attack so well. I mistimed that. Okay, so that I have to I have to remember for timing. I have to remember timing for uh I have to go like right probably when he's right about at the top of his at the apex of his jump there. So that I can jump like right as he's coming down and then my sword comes down on him. As, like after he right after he lands I did it once I can do it again that was our that was definitely our best attempt yet You know, for as weird of character design as this is, I do like, I do really like the, uh, that there is a certain kind of refinement to, uh, several of these moves and attacks that, uh, really makes that, uh, reminds you that this is, in fact, a noble. Okay, yeah, I... Okay. Okay, okay, I need to jump when he's, like, coming down, I think. It's like, yeah, I'll, so I'll jump over the shockwave, and maybe not get too... I have to make sure I'm not getting too close, either. Because I think that time he kind of just smashed me into the dirt with his drop. You know, I might have expected his body is probably a uh, one big hitbox uh, when he's coming down, because you know it would make sense. That it looks like a, a fair bit of weight coming down on your head. Probably none too pleasant to have falling down on you. for comfort there. Time that if you get lucky enough with that timing, you can knock him out of a out of his out of a roll. At least I'm assuming it's a roll because he, of course, he's going to start with the attack that I hate the most. Well, probably the second most after the after the black flame empowered series of stabs that is crew comboed me to death when I block ow okay, I'm up, I'm up. 
almost got him actually. Not worth it to try with these in the ring of fire like that. That's the attack. Give me one more hit. There we go, we got him. Let's go. Godskin Stitcher and Noble Presence. Hey, we got an achievement for that. Try gesturing. Be wary of hope. Serpent's Amnium? Tranquility. Oh, tranquility. Or let there be comfort. No item ahead. Well, let's, let's check out the Godskin Stitcher. A heavy thrusting sword. Elegant piercing sword with a celadon colored blade wielded by Godskin nobles. Nobles possess skill with the sword unmatched by any lowborn. Despite its size, successive attacks from this weapon are swifter than the eye can follow. Its piercing armaments overcome enemy shields, build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Strength and dex. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, whoops, I accidentally made the greatsword heavy. I'll need to undo that. And noble presence. That looked like a... Spell? Rust out belly with gusto to unleash repelling shockwave. Charging and enhances potency, knocking enemies into the air. What's a sign of the god's wrath? Its incantation became a trophy of the noble's god hunt. Ah. Serpent's Amnion? I thought that might be a key item. Amnion from the mother's womb, which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of a repellent birthing ritual. Never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. Somewhat disturbed about what that might be for. Anything over here? Try lever. Ah, uh, lever. Therefore lift. Oh! Okay. There's a grace here. We can fix our sword. And I'm gonna have to step away for a minute, too. But let me do that. Let me... Yeah, crag blade, standard affinity. Let me check my rooms, too. I got enough for... I'm actually... Yeah, before I go. Make sure I have no runes to use. And I can get, like, a level. Yeah. We're gonna hit 40 strength. Does that mean we can... We could use the grafted blade. Of course, it's only plus 2, so it's gonna be a decent bit weaker. than a plus 14 greatsword. So we'll just stick with the greatsword for now. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Let me make sure I click into Elden Ring. We've got a couple ways we can go. There's the elevator up. Speak door. We'll try the door first, though. I don't know at all which way we need to go. Let's 
That's another elevator. Contraption does not move. We might need to take the elevator. I wonder if that'll be the site of a shortcut, maybe? Or stuff turned back. Uh, sound advice. Uh, well, elevator it is, I guess. We can probably turn off our lantern for right now. Ah, it's an upper level. First off, right. I'll take your word for it. Message. Likely comfort. Ah, yes, unfortunately, we can't sit. Chairs. I kind of wish there was we could sit in the chairs at the table of Lost Grace. It will fire. Visions of dark. Oh, the candles here. Golden Room 9. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm half expecting enemies to come jumping out of the walls or something. I'm paranoid. Be wary of unnoticed. Notice there's is there something up there? Only I had a fire. Uh, um well that didn't actually seem to take us anywhere. Unless there's a way we're supposed to go out here, or we're we supposed to jump out down this way, maybe? Oh, pfft, that landed on a slug. Oh, sort ahead. Lift ahead. Ah. Huh. Yeah, I guess, yeah. So that's Crystal Barrage, that's what that actually does. All that for more smoldering butterflies. Oh, there's a summoning pool here. Oh god, there's a summoning pool here. Let's just jump past all those all the slugs. Let's just not bother. Furl calling finger remedy. Um Okay. I'm this way. Up ahead. Offer Elton Ring. <laughs> okay. Okay. Strong foe ahead. Be wary of ordnance. Um. Visions of chaos. <laughs> That gets a... That gets applauded. Oh! Is this the strong foe ahead? Oh no, I'm dead. fast enough. I don't like these things. Not at all. Well. Up we go again. Do 
it theoretically use this during the, the noble fight? Probably not. It would be kind of funny if we could just go up here and just do jumping attacks. From above. And then rush back and just repeat ad nauseum. Hello. Goodbye. I'm just gonna jump over you guys and hope not to fall into lava. I can't imagine that would go well for me. Probably wouldn't even be an instant kill, it would probably just... I'd probably just slowly and painfully... burn to death from the contact damage. No. The good thing about that grab is that it opens up a real vulnerable spot on them. And those chains are long. How do you fit all that chain inside that those arms, though? That nah, couldn't quite get me. could just run past you, but I'm committed at this point. Gotcha. Hey, I got a good 3,100 runes out of the deal. Could have come out much worse from that. Oh, am I gonna have to... Oh, man. Fire ahead, therefore try backstepping. Try skill. I wonder... I know you could cheese this with, uh, cheese your way through one of the, uh, like, swamp in Dark Souls 3 with, uh, quick-stepping with a dagger. Is there anything stopping me from doing it here? It appears not. Now I just need to get this scarab before it runs off. Gotcha. And we get a somber smithing stone. Lovable sort ahead. Is there an NPC somewhere around here? There are bloodstains. I don't like this. A lantern for a bit more light. Oh. I'm gonna assume that you are not the lovable sort. Stone sword key. Gladly take that. High spot ahead. Don't you dare. Hmm, yeah, it might not be a good idea to go down there. Well, let's just go back out. Sneak our way around here. Oh. oh! The cat is yowling. Close. Make. I'm not going to fight you on the lava. Oh, well. I'm dead. This is the grab. No? Path is returned. Want to say hi to Twitch now? Maybe? Not even a meow. Not a single meek. Ah, what a shame. Well, back to it. 
I'm just gonna skip the thing this time. Oh, there was an item here that I didn't notice before. Golden Rune 12. Have I looked at that description before? Race of gold, bless those who were first to serve it with the most vivid coloration. No, I, yeah, I think I've seen that before. I think that's the same as, like, 10. Have I ever seen a golden rune 11? I don't know that I have. But it's got to exist. There's a 10, and there's a 12. There's got to be an 11 somewhere. you okay oh it's just gonna come trundling along the lava after me you know maybe I should just not bother with the snakes Seems familiar. Oh. There are basilisks everywhere now. Okay. Okay. Sunburst with stone. At least the basilisks don't just... Don't even really do bother doing any damage. They just... Uh, they just try to kill you with their freaking burst gas. Wonder if the death status has any special effects, uh, or if it just kills you. So I know in Dark Souls, curse would uh, screw you up a little more than a regular old death would. Oh, whoops, I almost... I forgot to pick up my room and stuff. Shoot. That could have been a disaster. Oh, I got death play. Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, that's... Grizzly, but interesting. Like, what is that... What actually happened to me there? I'm not really sure how to parse what just happened. Sort of those, like, black tendrils that, like, grew out of me and then, like... Did something, like, grow out of the ground through me? Or did it grow through me into the ground? Or... What was... What was that? What exactly is Death Blight? Will I still be able to retrieve my runes? There are still there. Good. Okay, snacks. I'll fight you. These guys are much harder to fight around lava. I swear these ones seem more capable than the ones earlier on. Like they're actually... I'm actually having to block some attacks. The other one's not even bothering. Oh, there was one up above. With a fire sword. That one was easy. Okay, so that cave is full of... That old cave there is 
full of basilisks. Is there anything over that way? Is there anything I can get to over that way? If I... I might have enough quick steps in me to go through and back. There's some way to get up there. There has to be. Could there be a hidden path, that, or a path that I just didn't see in the Basilisk area? Death blighted again. Not that easily at any rate. Oh, I can hear them spewing the gas all over the place. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait it out. Do I have anything that could. Oh, I do have the rejuvenating boluses that. Of the blight. How about I just throw those on? So once I'm undeath blighted for the moment, I can have those ready to roll at a moment's notice. What is this? Or maybe there's a way from up there that I just didn't see? Okay, come on. Come on, snake. Come at me. Oh, hello there. Why are you immune to lava? Why do you have to be immune to lava? Turn back to visions of injustice. Death ahead. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of death ahead. So I can't help but notice like those little gold particles in their death gas. Hold this. Okay. Good. I was dangerously close there. Okay, no messages indicating secret paths or anything. All the same. Let's just give the place a, seat. a, a good once over. Just on the off chance, because Volcano Manor is the first place I've found that actually holds illusory walls, so. Better safe than sorry, I say. This isn't going to get me anywhere. Well, let's go back. Because it may just be that I found a side path. Look at that. That fall would definitely kill me. Needs the fire. Hello there. Oh! I hadn't gotten to this level before. First off, left. Try hidden path. Actually, first off, I'm gonna open this door. I think that was a door that I couldn't open before. 
rostering fire grease. Anything else of use down here? ones use sorceries. Okay, interesting. Anything here? Could this be asleep? Missionaries Cookbook 6. Holy Proof Dry Liver. Oh, okay. White blood is an interesting design choice. Back up. I'm tempted to put, to put a snake message up here, but and it would, uh, it would. Judging by how my other snake message has gotten appraised fairly re with some regularity, I wonder what what's it at now. It's still at 14 and 2. Keep moving, old codger has gotten more. Hello there. Oh, that's a different attack. It's easy backstab fishing. Didn't expect shield, but still no armament. Oh, hello there. I must have bet this bloodstain is from getting grabbed. Oh, dual swords. Nice. Oh, rushing in there. So there's something in there that's dangerous. Battery just fell and died. Oh, is this that elevator from earlier? Where he left. Okay, okay. So this is a shortcut uh, from the Godskin Noble Grace. We're gonna send it back down. Just assuming we're gonna die again. Ah, we can summon Spirit Ashes. Oh! Ooh. That is painful. First off, right. Ugh. Okay, we can get away before the death burst hits us. I need to not do the jumping attacks, though. I don't have enough. It doesn't give me enough time to react. Commoner's headband. Okay. Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder go? I mean, obviously, it goes down. But where? To here. That's, that's a lot of bones. Wait, was this... Did I just not notice this? Oh my god. Okay. Um, I guess I just took the scenic route. Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> expect strong foe oh that's different oh, oh 
god, this thing's like a mini magma worm. It's a cool weapon, though. Yeah, so see how you like my swarm of demi-humans. And the gank squad prevails. To the surprise of no one, I'm sure. Behold, misfortune. Okay. Well, what's up next? Erd tree. Yes, that is in fact the Erd tree. Try luring out in short flump sort. Go forth, my demi humans. Or, uh, or not, I guess. Why is it always despair? <laughs> Serpent Ashes. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, my demi-humans seem to be uh, on a bit of a traffic jam. Oh! They have unstuck themselves. No, you don't. Bastard. One of them unstuck himself, at least. Skinny is sort of... Those are, uh, those are, those are bones there, buddy. In a sense, you don't get any skinnier than being a skeleton, but also... You... you that's quite the opposite of being skinny, is, you know, they're, they're just bones. Yeah, that was bad, but... Just... If you're gonna watch my stuff, you have to deal with bad puns sometimes. Well, there's no messages saying necessary item ahead, so I'm just gonna leave that stone sword door alone for the moment. You know what I'm gonna do, though? I'm gonna... Go back to right in front of it. And put a little chest marker there. So there's an item. There's going to be something there behind that stone sword door. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be something of probably of some interest. Uh, is this the plump sword? What is up with his head? Why is it just a blob of flesh? Or is it just straight up a rock? Because that barely did any damage when I hit the head. It's like a pumpkin head. Be wary of head. What do you get up here? How did you get up there to put that message down? Okay, there we go. Visions of Lord. There we go. If I could just turn the UI off, I'll just take a screenshot of this. Got a screenshot, but of course the UI is still on. Boss ahead? Right, Rampage. Okay. So there's a teleporter. Is it taking us to Rykard, perhaps? 
Oh, there's a grace. Awesome. Let me pop my runes before I uh, touch grace. How much does a golden rune 12 give? 7,500. That's a solid number of runes. Let's... What the, what the point in doing intelligence? I'm actually, eh. We are at a nice level right now. But yeah, I think I'll go a point and do intelligence. I think that gets me uh, access to carry and greatsword. Magic glint blade and carry and greatsword. So I think I remember seeing something about tricks you could do with carry and greatsword. That's that's some good range. Yeah, you could do some Yeah, that that could be interesting, especially in just mob standard mob fights just with regular old uh groups of enemies. Dog Visions of strong foe. They're fun. Visions of fantasy. <laughs> okay, I don't see a boss health bar yet. There's an item. Oh, that. Serpent Hunter. That must be the spear that was mentioned, that the one ghost dude mentioned. Where is it? Great Spear. Okay. So it's this... Yeah, Great Serpent Hunt. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to be... This is another Yorm the Giant, I bet. This is both Great Sword and Spear that to have been used to hunt... Thought to have been used to hunt an immortal Great Serpent in the distant past. It manifests a long blade of light when facing such a creature. Their master's heroic aspirations degenerated into mere greed as men searched for a weapon with which they might halt their lord. Powerful forward lunge, follow up with an upward thrust by additional input when fighting a great serpent, a long blade of light will appear, revealing the armament's true power. So this is... Uh, yeah, okay. I did, have, I did remember to keep no skill on there. God-devouring serpent. Oh, that's... Uh, Ooh. That's pleasant. A, a, a god devouring serpent. Yeah, mm, we'll be fighting that. Apparently not a Rykard, though? No. What's, what's this moveset like? Okay. Lots of poking. As expected. At least it's not like Yorm, uh, where you had to go to the back end of the arena and then try to menu while he's actively attacking you. What's this item here? I, Sir Coat? Yeah, what have you got here? Oh! Uh, that just went around my shield, I think. Maybe humans are making a valiant effort. I have to try actually hitting the boss, probably. If I want to even try to get through this in the mm, less than 20 minutes I have left. Before I gotta... things off. I'll take the boluses off, I don't need them right now. It's a massive arena. Interesting looking place, though, with all the cages and half a dozen chandeliers, too. Are these pillars of corpses?
Oh. The terrain is destructible. Okay, he spits poison. It's fun. I guess this is where the, uh... The... Serpent Folk came from. Uh, okay. So that's what Great Serpent Hunt does for us. Gives it a massive range so we don't have to actually enter the lava, which is nice. Oh, and the follow-up attack is insane! Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Oh! Surprisingly not, okay. It's unusually kind. This will kill me. Probably. Okay. No? I don't know, I'll just need to brave the lava. To try and do the close range Great Serpent Hunt without, uh. without the benefit of the Light Blade and hope that it actually does reasonable damage. Okay, that killed me. Uh oh! <laughs> And the camera follows me as I'm going down his gullet. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, that's that was kind of funny. Okay. I don't have any sacred tears in my inventory, right? I don't have golden seeds. I'm actually gonna go more blue than red. I'm definitely going to keep the demi-humans, because they'll distract him. Even if it means I only get the one Great Serpent Hunt. Or, although I don't know if I even could get one Great Serpent Hunt before... Uh, with how little FP I have left after summoning. Goodbye. The cat has left again. Oh, he takes the lava with him? That's a pain. Oh, he has moves where he spreads the lava. Excellent. Okay. Wait for him to attack again. Before I do much. Okay. Oh, whoops. I tried to dodge that. Oh, well. Oh, when I lost my, lost my runes. Whoops, forgot to even go grab them. <laughs> I think I might be able to get one Great Serpent Hunt with the Light Blade. Yeah, I can get one off. Oh no. you bring the lava with you. Hey, we got him down to half. Oh, 
Let's heal. Let's heal. We don't need it. For a god devouring serpent, I kind of honestly a little disappointed by some of this damage I'm seeing. I thought it would have done more. It's called a god devouring serpent, after all. Like... But I will. I ought to just two-hand this, because I'm not really using my shield. Maybe I could be, but I don't know that it's going to actually help. Let me test something. Okay, so I can hit him from pretty much right inside his aggro range. Oh, it can go... For like a lava eruption attack. Ooh. That's a pain. There we go. That's some good damage. Juicy hits there. I'd really love to see what, like, a critical hit could do with that. I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's just not possible, though. Okay, heal. Get that FP back. Ow. Blade can break through the terrain too. It's pretty cool. Oh, I thought I might have a chance to get there in time, but no. I really don't like that attack. I really dislike it. I'm tempted to try the skeleton militiamen ashes, honestly. Though I feel like they'll just die when they stay in the lava. instead of actually, like, taking advantage of the resurrection thing. Okay, I need to be a little closer than that. Thanks for getting nice and close to me. How would you like a light blade right in your face? How would you like another? Got one more. Or we'll have to chug again. Uh, now I'm sure this is only like that. Great Serpent Hunt is only applicable to this fight. Like, there is not a doubt in my mind that this is a... that this is the single use case for this... the special property of this weapon art. 
Ow, oh, I was healing right as I right as my message got upraised. I wasted the heal. <laughs> you know, it'd be it'd be cool if there was something else where this would be applicable, but I I doubt there is, because the Storm Ruler was literally only used to fight Yorm. Pretty sure the same thing was pretty sure the ba basically the same thing is the case with the uh, weapon in uh, Demon's Souls that was used to kill one particular boss and nothing else. Why did you have to try to cam this through me after that? Oh, and then do that attack that I... I can... I think I can see a way to avoid it, but you have to, like... I feel like you almost have to see that... see the eruption wave coming ahead of time somehow. So you can start running in the right direction to get away. I you go. The cat has returned. Wish me luck on killing this god devouring serpent. Ah, damn, this time the dodge there. Yeah, maybe I just shouldn't even bother with spirit ashes and just get extra serpent hunt in. Hold on a moment. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. We're back. We'll be able to get at least a couple more attempts in. I have no doubt. Hey, buddy. Did I wake you up? Oh. I hate missing that second hit, because that's the big one. Super armor through the big through my second hit just to screw me up. How heavy is this thing? Spear. Come on. It's like the the sound when you, you put it down. Oh god. Oh, I'm... Uh, I thought I was dead there from... Just getting stuck against the boundary of the room. Hey, you can knock him out of the eruption attack. It's really nice to see, honestly. Totally gone for the second hit. I don't know that I actually have the uh, FP to do anything with it. Okay. 
couple more rounds of attacks and I think I've got him. Regular attacks project the uh, blade too. Oh, there's a cutscene. Oh gosh, this is gonna be one hell of a phase too, isn't it? That's a face. Getting some lag, some weird lag spikes, and also, oh god. Ugh. Oh, that is disgusting. Are those. those bodies on that sword? Oh, man! Join myself and King as Ramadi. Whoever this voice actor is, uh, I'm sorry for your vocal cords. <laughs> that sounds like it tore your throat, would have torn your throat right up. Okay, so apparently this is Rykard? Serpent, but it still works fine. Oh. oh. Okay. We'll see how this goes in the next... Yeah, I'm gonna give this, like, one more try tonight, because I'm hitting my time limit. We'll see if this continues, if this ultimately does continue the trend of, uh... Shard bearers being easier for me than the mini-bosses, or than the bosses before them. Okay, I'm gonna go one more attempt because that I barely got into that. One attempt where I don't die inside of a minute. Alright, let's try some normal attacks and see what the range on those looks like. I've exclusively been using Great Serpent Hunt. So it might be good range, good enough range to justify using. But I am going to open with Great Serpent Hunt, I think, because, uh... Okay, that is some nice range. I wish I'd thought to try that before. 
instead of exclusively uh, relying on great serpent. But... I might, I might go back to something closer to my normal flask setup in future attempts if the need arises. It's all depends on how many future attempts there are. I don't know, maybe I'll be able to finish the fight this time, who knows. Maybe I'll be able to beat Rykard, uh... I, I gotta admit, I don't... Maybe I just missed something, but I wasn't quite expecting this. From Rykard, though maybe it's just because the uh, the other shard bearers, all, all three of the other, like, the other shard bearers uh, that we're... Well, that we're able to reach are... Humanoids, uh, and I, I'd assume Morgoth probably is too, but I don't know. I obviously haven't gotten to him because uh, on this character we haven't we've not bothered with going to Lane Dell. Okay. Okay. And we haven't even. We haven't gone to Lane though at all, have it? But of course, we don't have the uh, necessary great runes. Does the cutscene play again? We're gonna skip. Okay, it's too far away for a great serpent hunt, unfortunately. Whoops. Oh, yeah, dude, I. I do not envy your vocal cords, voice actor. <laughs> oh, man. I'll have to look up who did that, because... Oh. Sounds a little, little, little painful. We're gonna go, like... We'll go 7 and 2, and I'll use Great Serpent Hunt much more sparingly. Uh, but for now... It's gonna have to be it. We'll see if I can beat my time for Godskin Noble, which was over an hour between two streams, uh, with, uh, the God Devouring Serpent and Rykard. Uh, I look forward to seeing that. That's going to be, uh, next, my next stream on Saturday, which will be back at its normal really late time. Um, uh, and due to some things, uh, going on in my life right now, uh, some things going on. I might have to mess with my normal schedule at some point. I'm going to see how things work out for, like, at least a week or two uh, before I change anything. Uh, but if I do have to change stuff, I will, will make sure to say something, make sure to notify people. Uh, but for now, it'll be the usual Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, so, thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing my muddling through Volcano Manor and eventually getting to Rykard at long last. Uh, look forward to, I look forward to seeing you again on Saturday. Or hopefully we'll be able to finish this in a timely manner and then maybe go around to so revisit some dungeons and field bosses I haven't beaten yet. So... Until next time.